y'all already know the routine make sure that you like comment subscribe to my channel and we're going to get right into this video so I'm starting off by detangling my hair this is a three days old um, twist out that I did and my hair was already moisturized from the twist out and stuff so I'm just adding water into my hair the water bottle does have some olive oil in it coconut oil and castor oil so it's not just water that i'm putting into my hair and i'm just going to spray my hair until it's damp and then i'm going to detangle it with my fingers Once I'm done with that side, I'm going to move on to the other side and do the exact same thing off camera. Now for our first hairstyle, which is the two puffs, you want to create a part. You don't have to do a part because I don't do a part all the time, especially when I have my lazy days. So you don't have to do a part, but if you want a neat looking puff, I would say do a part. I add a little bit of organic coconut oil just because I like my hair to look shiny and moisturized when I have my puffs or any type of natural hairstyle. I just like it to look moisturized. I don't want my hair to look dry and brittle. And then I go into this Cantu Curl Activator moisturizer and I just rub that in and as soon as I put that in my curls just start to transform and change and that's how I get that nice moisturized curly curly hair <laughs> when I do my puffs I always use scrunchies do not use rubber bands they will rip out your hair and I push all my hair to the front because I like my puffs to be high if you want low puffs then you can make them lower Because my hair is wet it will shrink so to limit the amount of shrinkage I get I just tease it a little bit with a big tooth comb for my edges I use edge control and then I just use a toothbrush and I just slick my edges I don't really do anything fancy sometimes I just push them back most of the time I push them back and then every now and then I do a little soup or something I'm not really good you know or an expert on the edges but just watch and see what I do Nice moisturize two puffs. For the second hairstyle, it's super easy. It's just a big puff. You're gonna take the shoestring or scrunchie or whatever you're using to make your puff. I like to use a shoestring because it helps you manipulate my hair more. But all you're gonna do is wrap it around your puff and then tighten it in any access string. You just pin it to your head, and that's basically it. third and 
ass hairstyle. This might be a little tricky for someone that doesn't know how to braid, so you can also do twists with this hairstyle. But yeah, basically I'm just going to make my part and then I'm going to braid my hair down to the sides and after I'm done braiding my hair down to the sides, I'm going to use that same shoestring to make a puff. a side part but you can also do a middle part with this hairstyle hairstyle i hope you liked this video if you liked it please give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and remember to always be beautiful and love yourself